What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. It's an absolutely beautiful fall day here in Finley, Ohio. October is finally upon us, and I'm hanging out in the beer shed, getting ready to check out a new beer. Now, the video today is actually a request. Uh, a guy named Josh, who watches the videos, had asked me if I'd ever had Cronenberg 1664. Um, and it's kind of a convoluted answer. The answer is yes, I have had it, but it was many years ago. And to be honest, I don't really remember what it was like. Um, a lot of times when I go over to England, I'll hang out with my cousins. And the, one of the beers that they regularly drink is Cronenberg. Now, I know that I had a few of them while I was there, but I couldn't really tell you what I thought of it because it's been a couple years and I really don't really remember what it was like. So I went to the local shop here in, in Bluffton, Ohio, went to Kibbe's. And while walking through looking for a Cronenberg, I stumbled across this. Now, the bad news is it's not the Cronenberg, the regular one. This is Cronenberg Blanc, so it's a, a wit beer. Um, it's kind of a wheat beer, a little bit different than their regular, which is kind of like a Euro lager. Um, but I figured this is close enough until I find the other one. Josh, I apologize. <laughs> we'll have to do it this one until I get a regular Cronenberg. Uh, as far as ABV, this is 5% ABV, 7 IBU, so very low bitterness is what I'm going to expect here. Ratings-wise, does pretty good. On untapped, 3.49. Beer Advocate, 3.62, with an overall score of 82. Good. Um, which kind of surprised me. I didn't think it would be be that high. Now, what's kind of interesting, this is actually a French brewery from Aubernay, France. I uh, can't say that I have a whole heck of a lot of, of French beers. I mean, if I think about the list, it might be this, the other Cronenberg I had ages ago, and, and that's kind of it. This thing is pouring with a lot of head. It's kind of like a automatic knob head pour there. Good Lord. Color. It, it looks like what you'd expect from a from a whip beer. I'm going to break out my chart here. This is probably, you know, a one or two, very light colored, although it's quite cloudy. You kind of see the, the cloudiness in there. Not much going on carbonation-wise. I was expecting to see a little more bubbles, but not too bad. That head doesn't look like it's going anywhere. And if you, you look at it from the top, this almost looks like whipped cream. It's a very unique looking head, very silky smooth looking. I wound up with probably two and a half of my fat fingers on here. So it's quite a bit ahead. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, I'm going to have to just go for it and see what happens. Let's give it a sniff. Pick up a little bit of coriander. Definitely get some citrus. I'm trying to figure out what the citrus is. It smell like more like lemon or more like orange or, you know, exactly what you pick up. It's definitely citrusy, but it's little difficult to, to tell what it is I would probably go more lemon would be my guess I would expect maybe a little more orange but the lemon it smells like lemon let's give it a shot cheers light bodied this is a really odd texture on this thing this is really creamy and silky smooth I think the first thing you pick up is kind of some some lemony zest kind of thing then you get a little bit of light like almost like a, a yeasty spicy kind of thing which is pretty nice no real hops presence at all i mean again it's seven ibus i wasn't expecting it to be and it's a whip beer it's not a very hoppy beer this is pretty good i wasn't expecting to like this um i don't know why i think i kind of associated it with like a macro euro lager type thing but this is not bad at all i actually quite enjoy this i would drink some more of these yeah and this is five percent too so it's kind of a you know normal abv sometimes when you deal with the the european beers i get nervous because sometimes they're they're quite low like i said i go to england fairly regularly and i'll drink a lot of the cask beers they have and you know a lot of them are kind of like four percent or even less um, which to me is kind of, you know, it's lower than, than Coors Light in, in alcohol. Now, the taste is obviously head and shoulders above the, the light beers, but I thought this would be very light like that as well, but it's 5%, so kind of normal. Yeah, I like that. Um, didn't think I would, but I actually quite enjoy it. I would, I would definitely drink one of these. 1664 Blanc by Cronenberg Brewery, Obernay, France. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. You get a big thumbs up. Um, thanks for the recommendation, Josh. Hopefully I can hunt down a regular Cronenberg. 
can't say I've looked for them in a while, but I know a couple of spots. If I drive a little while, I'll probably be able to locate one. And I'll probably do a follow-up video if I'm able to find one. So, you know, appreciate the recommendation. If anybody else has anything they'd like to recommend that hopefully I can find in this area, I'd be happy to do so. Hopefully you liked the video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you do. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had Cronenberg Blanc or the regular Cronenberg? If so, let me know what you think about them. Hey, till next time. Cheers.